your guide to the truth. The new American Media dot com. Hi, everybody. Brian Engelman. This is the 2019 Conscious Life Expo in Los Angeles, California. I'm joined with Anomaly. What's, What's up, going on? Thanks for having me. Thanks for being Both back at here the again. expo and at the interview. And at NAM. And at Politicon. The Politicon. First time. Yeah. We go way back. We've, we've been uh, hanging out, uh, crossing over for a couple of years now. Now I could get my way in, but if I was a sellout and a bad friend, I'd just be like, yo, I did it myself the whole time. Nobody I ever got me anywhere. I did it my way. But no, nah, Brian, Brian's the plug. <laughs> no, man, it's been an interesting couple of years. Uh, we've, we've seen you and your videos head on a, uh, a nice little journey. You've, you've been growing. Your audience has been increasing. And you put out a song that says, I like Trump. And that gets, it, it, it's a little worm. It's a sound worm, an earworm that gets stuck in my head sometimes. And it's, I like Trump. It's propaganda. I'm coming for the whole cake. So, <laughs> you know, the media mind controls and the global elites mind controls. So I was like, might as well get into the propaganda game. But, you know, I try, instead of like telling people to like kill themselves and take pharmaceutical pills, mm. I'm like, drink water and eat vegetables. So, you know. He's dangerous. The most dangerous <laughs> person in America. Drink water. <laughs> Don't make me pay for your health care. No, I'm just kidding. Eat more veggies. Oh, don't get political. Oh, there he goes. No, there he goes again. There he goes this again. guy. I didn't say it. Surprise. No, but, but okay, we're, we're, we're into political. Conscious life. Conscious consumption of yeah. social media content. What do you make of all the fake news stories that are going around? Whether it's Jesse Smollett or Russian collusion or, yeah. you know, you, you get Covington kids. It's like lie after lie after lie. You know, we both comment on media stuff nonstop. So yeah. what's, what's your take on this? It's a beautiful time to be alive because I think before uh, internet was really prevalent, they controlled the narrative mm -hmm. no matter what. And then we started cracking it, cracking it, cracking it. And then you had this election which totally cracked it. And then they're trying to fight back. But they've kind of overextended their hand, I feel oh, like. Yeah. And, you know, it's like a battle. But um, this year they've dropped the ball so hard so many <laughs> times where it's like this, the Smollett case. And even the Covington kids, like, they, it's two of the biggest fails I've ever seen. And a lot of people realize because there's a lot of stories that don't add up even here conscious life expo they, they're talking about aliens all this stuff where like certain parts of earth just make no sense for what they told us and that's like a big thing going on here but it's like finally the normies or the npcs or just the good american <laughs> people you know whatever you want to call them that don't really pay attention even they're like dude like what's up with jesse smollett so it's, mm -hmm. i think their propaganda campaign is finally coming to a halt and it's it's good for you know we've been Deep diving for a decade now, so it's about time. Well, uh, uh, you know, Conscious Life Expo, being conscious of what you're doing online. Have you found yourself steering away from certain things, certain topics, certain modes of communication mm -hmm. and, and gravitating toward a different style yourself? I love YouTube videos and I like speaking audio, so I, I don't like to read um, articles. Like people assume that I just read news all the time. I barely ever read news. I don't like text-based stuff and all the best text-based places, they're either super goof goofy like BuzzFeed <laughs> or Huffington Post where it's just like too goofy or they pretend to be like really intelligent but they're totally fake. Like I won't name names, but you know, the mainstream media and even people I agree with politically maybe, they're too fear-based. So I like to watch really interesting people from all sides and i've been diving down rabbit holes where they're like don't listen to them but then i listen to these people even a lot of the people here it's like i don't have to agree with every theory they have oh, but i find right. people that have i'm always learning so i like if someone's like saying the same five things on loop even if i agree with them i find even in, in politics people that i do like they'll what, listen to the same stuff every day like da 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 but it's like nah i gotta i gotta go outside the box and listen right. to some people where they're just whole new perspective and then so yeah, it's all audio, a lot of YouTube, and um, that's what I like to consume. Tell me about the music you've been putting out. You, you got some Bob Ross action, you got some Trump action. Like, mm. you, you've, you, you kind of start, you alluded to this earlier, you were saying about how I'm not rapping about pharmaceutical pills and you know, uh, yeah. violence and all this silly shit. But you kind of came up, how, how old were you when that started, 15? You were a youngster over in New mm. Jersey or something? Yeah, I, th I think my first, my real first rap was uh, seventh grade. I did a remix to Eminem. Cleaning out my closet, but about fungi for science class. Give me and, a bar. Spit me a bar. Um, I got some fungi growing in my closet. I don't know if no one knows it. So I don't, that's, I don't remember the rest. Like, but uh, and close it, almost yeah. expose it. It's Take been it back to 73 before I ever had a multi-platinum selling CD. I something that like that. Brian's got the bars. But yeah, been rapping for a while. And so, so the music you're coming out with today, what, what, like, what's... 
What's the team like? What's the process? Well, when when do you decide? You know, I'm, I, I've commented on the things happening on the planet enough. I just want to create a piece mm. and let release this song. Where, how does that process work? I used to only make music, so once I started doing videos, even with music, it was about the message. It was never about like the fame or the cars or the clothes. So once I was like, oh, I could sit on my couch and say this stuff, it, it became easier. So that's why I dropped off the music because there's still people who want them. But I was like, I'm just trying to get my message across and this is easier and it takes less time and less money and resources. But then when I'm really inspired, now I'm like with the I Like Trump one, I was just like, my friend uh, is like really good producer. I'm lucky to have a lot of uh, talented friends. And I was like, dude, and I was just banging. I guess I've been watching too many videos. So I thought of that. And then the Bob Ross one, I, I found out how chill he was in his energy. So I was like, I want to make a Bob Ross song. And then the Matrix Breaker song, that's my newest oh, one. Yeah, that's it's right. with uh, Justice League. They're like a Grammy Award winning production trio. The one guy's really into politics and he's more conservative libertarian. So I, I kept seeing him. I was like, oh, Justice League, they, they're they not like full on NPC. That's tight. And he, he gets it. Uh, so I was like, send me a beat that I could rap bars over, just like straight spit fire. So he sent the beat. So I've been, I've been blessed on that. But honestly, it's like, I don't even want to hang out with rappers anymore. People are like, like I, people are like, dude, check out my rapper friend. I was like, ah, no, I already have too many rapper friends. I'm good. Like, I'd rather like, like introduce me to your grandma. Like, no disrespect, but I'm trying to get the, the old wisdom. You know, like you got a friend that like plants trees. Like, I'd rather talk to them. Like, people are like, dude, my friend raps and drinks lean. I'm like, keep them away from my house, bro. Don't bring them over. <laughs> no disrespect, but I want to get with your grandma. Yeah, Just or like Brian. Like, I know Brian. I trust Brian. Like, I'm trying to get a coffee with Brian. I don't want to I don't want to meet new rappers. So <laughs> now that I have, like, the stuff, people, some people are like, dude, I know he's a failed music artist. And now I was like, no, I've, I've rapped, trying to spread a message. Now I'm doing it on my couch, and I like it a lot better because then, like, if anyone bothers me, I just turn the camera off. Like Tyler, the creator, said one time, there's no such thing as cyberbullying. He's like, just turn the effing camera off, bro. If you're getting bullied online, you just turn the internet off and it all goes away. Honestly, <laughs> I got I to gotta tell you, dude, like it was, I got a reading right down, right over here in one of these rooms two years ago after the, the, the 2016 election. I needed to take a little bit of a step back with all the politics, with all the negativity, with all, like, kind of like you're saying, like, who do you want in your inner circle? What do you yeah. want to be doing? I needed it, man. Covering that election, that lead up, that was that was intense. That was intense stuff. We there were a lot of people felt like like we were on the edge. We were on the edge of something really, really different than it is now. And yeah. I feel a little positive. Do you feel positive about the direction we're headed in certain oh, yeah. areas? Like, what do you are, are you optimistic about where we're going? Yeah, I always say too. I mean, in that void, if like there's politicians that aren't good, then you can become that. I have no uh, as aspirations to do that. So like I'm like the media sucks, but now I've been able to be bigger than media personalities. So it's like it is a great time to be alive. There's an audience and uh, I'm trying to do what's right. And uh, it seems to be working like all the people that were like, oh, anomalies too crazy rapping about real things like we need to talk about pills and drugs and that's cool now they're like looking like oh no like maybe i picked the wrong route i'm like not only is it not as profitable or marketable now but also you're killing people so it's like yeah you pick the <laughs> it's a loose lose and now it's like a win-win like i could talk about vegetables and get like a couple thousand views or something you've never seen the uh the urban garden we put together have you you've never no, seen no i need to see it but i know i yeah, know yeah. that a couple hundred potted plants and organic food and all that bring jazz. me and it's th there's a better way to live even in weird circumstances you know yeah. you don't need a, a half acre in your backyard you can do something on your front and back porch you can do something locally that's the best thing you can do is act locally and yeah you know help me pot some plants because mine died i didn't water them enough and they were they were pretty deserty plants too but i i get busy where sometimes i, I don't even drink enough water so i was like i gotta all take right, care of myself fair. I had a great quote, and maybe you can have some solace in hearing this one. Yeah. Uh, there are no gardening mistakes. There's only gardening experiments. So, like, you learned a lesson from the, okay, now you just put something new in that pot, and you treat it a different way and see if you get a different result. In relationships, it works. With, with gardening, it works. Uh, what about kids, though? It's like, what if you kill your kids? kids, and then you're like, ah, it's... I, you know, just, just put say, kid just into the pot and put another kid into the pot. Wait, so are it's we like a Bob Ross little happy trees. Now you're Bob just like, Ross. ah, you know, I messed up. I, Cause then Peter would be like, it's a, mm, it's a I life. There you go. Bob Ross. All I do is kill. Right? <laughs> no, you, no. It's not chill. It'd no, be kill. I feel guilty already. I feel guilty when I, my plants die and I feel guilty if I have to kill like a bug cause it's annoying me. I try to take them outside when I can. Yeah, but at a certain point, it's at like some point, if a enough. human did that, I, they might have to die. So it's like, you, you you right, well, I'll, I'll, make you, I'll make you a deal. Um, you can, it, we call it a nursery in the backyard. Yeah. There's about three or 400 different plants at various stages. Epic. Come pick out 20. 
Take some with you if you want. Please. It's an open invitation. Do you have um, fruit or vegetables or something? Yeah, I've been harvesting uh, grapefruit, oranges. I know you mentioned that, but I feel days. like not n- I enough lemon, recently. I got outside. lime. All the tomatoes are coming up. I can oh give you like 20 goodness. tomato plants. Yeah, well, let me know. I'm yeah. about uh, that life. Okay, so since you're all about that life, what's what's next in that life? What's what's on the horizon? What projects do you want to tell us about that uh, mm. interview encounter you had this week? Or I don't know where you want to Yeah, kinda, yeah. Some I know. Of what you've been up to and where you're headed next. Uh, yeah, I met up with Roseanne and we talked a little bit and she was just on Jesse Lee Peterson's too, gave me a shout out. Um, so yeah, we talked about some next level stuff. That's cool. I did an interview with the Jesus Christ, the breakdancer. Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to keep it working, keep moving. And I really want to take like, I, I deserve it. I don't want to say deserve, but I need a two week vacation where I just turn off my phone completely. I'm looking forward to that, even though I haven't booked it, but like things are going well, keep the ball rolling, work hard, work smart. I try to stretch a lot crank out the videos got make america debate again podcast we got the youtube right, we got the yeah. facebook so i'm always cranking it's like just keep it consistent but also i gotta take care of myself and, oh, yeah. and stretch and and get massages and take naps so i'm, I'm trying not to play <laughs> i'm not trying not to play myself maybe go sailing but uh, with the career it's just like i mean i just wake up and see what see what the world's crying about they think like, wow <laughs> and then I'm like, all right, let me see what I think about this. Honestly, I think that's what I do, too. I wake up and see what the world's crying about. You also had a good line earlier. You said Conscious Life Expo is like a farmer's market for people super into UFOs. Yeah, it's like a farmer's that's market, great. but you're going to see a lot more aliens. <laughs> and not too many vegetables, but they got a good amount of like vegan food. So it's a good time. Besides the massage lady who assaulted me, she's she's extra. But, you know, only God can judge and uh, God rest her soul. God help her soul because she needs, she needs some love in her life. Uh, potentially something more but i'm not i'm not gonna get into it my ther- my therapy budget is much higher than that so i can't you know i'm got a website you. i'm a dating coach slash agriculture uh consultant slash digital uh connoisseur i just kind of vibe out and see i gotta see this business card how many how many lines you got on this one yeah i don't it's have like a fold out it's i like don't have scroll. one i always tell people just follow me on myspace or check out my blog and then like they get very uninterested <laughs> i'm like you don't even know me where, where is the best way to find you online? Is it's Facebook, uh, YouTube? What's a platform Facebook, of choice? You, uh, and it's Anomaly with an A-N-Zero-M-A-L-Y. Yeah. You have a real name that I know, but I try not to call you that. It's okay. Well, now you made it a thing. <laughs> uh, it's YouTube, Facebook. Um, either way, legendary.vision is my website. So you can go there and see all my links. I like YouTube and Facebook because I can't tell which one's worse. Like every time Facebook does something <laughs> dumb, then YouTube does something dumb. They're like, Facebook's like, let me ban you for three days for a what post was, from seven months. What was that one about? It said you, you posted, I believe on Instagram, you said, I was just banned. And they yeah. gave me the excuse that someone commented something under what I posted. Oh, no, no. Which yeah. Led me, what was that? That wasn't me. That's but that one. That was YouTube. So what happened was someone's video got demonetized. And, and yeah. I guess like, I don't know exactly the scenario, but it was like, I don't curse. Like, there's nothing wrong with my content. And they're like, oh, well, if someone comments something and like, if there's a comment, bad comments, then we can demonetize your video based on your comments. So that was team YouTube, YouTube's official Twitter wow. saying that now your videos can get demonetized. Seventy percent of my videos are demonetized. Same with Facebook. Like, man, if Facebook monetized all my videos, I'd be crushing. But some of my videos with three million, five million views, I would have gotten thousands of dollars for them. They're almost all demonetized. Some of them get monetized, and I'm like, yes, finally. But uh, yeah, it's like they're, they're goofy. It's like what? It's like uh, co- I could go to your video and be like, Brian, say bleep bleep bleep, and then they're like, oh, that's Brian's fault. Like it's it's like if I if I punched you in the arm and they blamed you for it. It's it's it's. Did you so have any brothers? Did, was it? I had a you, sister. You, you, you grab their arm and you start hitting them with their own arm. It's like stop hitting yourself. Stop I, hitting yourself. I had a sister. That, I had that's a. That's what YouTube is saying. Stop hitting mm-hmm. yourself. Why? Why are the people on your? Why? It just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. I have a younger brother, and he's still mad at me because, like, I, I guess <laughs> I would make him do stuff, and I would say it's a quest, and I would give him quest points. They still clown on me for that because I was like, I was like, go point. up and get me pizza bagels. You'll get 10 quest points. I just had him running around doing sh- stuff for me. I guess I was kind of like the central bank, so I was like, I felt bad about it now, but, I mean, he learned a lesson. It's like, don't. Don't just do things for fake points. 
Those were your tariffs. Those, those, that was. Your I don't know what I was doing, but I was definitely getting a lot of Quest food points. delivered to me. I was like, it was like Uber Eats for free, but it yeah, was like at this. my brother's expense. But he's he's stronger now, and uh, you know, it's <laughs> made him it's made him a great man. He's a good guy. <laughs> we crafted him into the man he is today. Yeah, I'll take credit for that. Uh, how about how about we do this? We should do some cra- uh, quest points. What, what, what's a good cause? We could we could ask people to to get some for ten quest man, points. What can they do? Can some of do? those nachos with the bean, like yeah. instead of cheese, it's like queso dip, but it's beans. It's all like organic non-dairy okay. so okay. any food or if we can get crystals like thousands of dollars in crystals mm. for okay. points i'm trying to get those because i'm learning they have properties so they if, do yeah i'm if wearing we moldavite right now are you familiar what is that it sounds like voldemort but continue i've already said too much what a <laughs> well don't trust this guy <laughs> okay what does uh, it do so t- uh what does it do it's sp- and and i'm not an expert this was a gift yeah. Um, my generic understanding of Moldavite is that it kind of repels what needs to be repelled. It spurs the change that needs to happen. Okay. And it clarifies focus. Okay. He's sli- so it's, it's kind of like a catalyst. It's, it, it, it gets you to the next thing. Are you Slytherin or is that? Cause like I'm I, not not Slytherin. I only trust Grif- Gryffindor, Slytherin I don't really like, and Hufflepuff is just like Huffington Post. And... Uh, <laughs> Was the other one Ravenclaw? It's just like the kid who got picked like seventh in, in, in kickball, where it's like you're not that <laughs> mad at him, but it's like at this point, well, why my, even play? Well, mine, mine, I'm I'm a Cleveland Browns fan, so anything Ravens, that's uh, Baltimore, I'm, I'm against. Oh, you're a Cleveland Browns I'm fan. Against. Like, oh well, my whole life. So, so you don't, anything you don't Raven. win a lot. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad well, you. We got do him. now. <laughs> are you watching us now, Baker Mayfield? Are you Are you on the train? Yet? How many? How many? Nick Chubb, Baker Mayfield, seven, eight, the- and one better we have what is it 80 million dollars at least you supported 40 agency? at least you supported 45 you got some wins in man all of cleveland should win also all of cleveland should support him because that's like a win for you guys it's it's going to be strong mark I, my words i went to west virginia university so we, oh, we're, we we're famous for always losing but like what's even worse is like you, cleveland you had some good teams though yeah but that's the problem like cleveland they just suck so you guys like you, your expectations should be low at this point no offense but just, it's just true None take, look, but it's just yeah, but west virginia Brown's they on, always so do like. really good and they blow it at the end so it's like what would you rather be just like knowing that you're bad or actually thinking you're going to be a top team and always ruining it we both have curses we might need some voldemort gorgonite <laughs> at the at, at those moldavite Gorg- gargamel uh gorgonzola G- yeah no it's actually Gilgamesh? he wears cheese it's Gilgamesh? disgusting it smells horrible this kid's disgusting just like the baltimore Ravens. i love brian i'm just kidding i know it's all good um anomaly thank you sir Yes, yeah, a pleasure. So just follow Anomaly on uh, what'd you say, MySpace and Blockbuster video? Yeah, What's well, just one? give me uh, a Blockbuster, but don't he'll, he'll, he'll don't do it. Next tape, is, don't do it. NASA not did because they they t- in Reuters they said they taped over the original moon landing. So okay, don't do right, that. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you and Owen Benjamin, you did Owen's show, right? Recently, yeah, it's like, recently, and he's really uh, on the moon landing thing, and we're yeah. here at Conscious Life Expo. Do you have a legitimate thought on the moon landing? Yeah, I, I talked to topic. some people over there. I'm even the conspiracy theorist of conspiracy uh-huh. theorists here. But I mean, I know you like to throw down on yeah, these. Yeah, I'm not ideas. saying we didn't go. Like Owen will just say we didn't go, which seems highly likely. My gut says we didn't go, but um, mm. I mean, they taped over the tape. They gave yeah, they gave that? Holland a fake moon rock. They said they lost the telemetry data. They said that they don't have the technology to go there anymore. I'm not buying it specifically, but it's like I'm not. You could sell me like Elon Musk, like. I, they're getting close but like just show me the car facts show me the space facts <laughs> i'm not seeing them so i'm not show me this i'm not facts. trying to start a conspiracy theory at conscious life expo because like that makes me feel bad when like they're talking about aliens and i'm sitting down with this guy who's like oh and then i say that and he's like whoa 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 <laughs> easy like, that's crazy and i was like shit am i the craziest <laughs> one here that's, i even got yelled at I, I, I got assaulted literally and then security <laughs> came up to me i was like am i too crazy for conscious life expo I, like it's it's sad uh, Maybe there's nowhere I fit in. That's why I got a YouTube live stream t- for for friends. Sad, sad life. Maybe next year you need a a shirt that says something along those lines. I'm too afraid to go next CLE. year. If, if that lady's here, the too massage lady. for CLE. Something. If that too massage cray lady's cray here. Cray. I'm not going. It's like, mm. It's right. bad branding. On that positive note. And where can they find you? Because I might might upload this. Oh yeah, the New American Media. Just I don't know. Yeah. Look around. YouTube.com slash the New American Media. And on Instagram, right? Yeah, Instagram. I, I think our Instagram is pretty lit. You do good stuff on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. You like our a lot of our posts. Yeah. We like to be snarky and funny. Like we we like. The I funniest like I memes. like them, but I don't really like them. I just see Brian and no, he's I'm just like, kidding. Right, no. I'll toss him <laughs> no. some ducats. <laughs> no, he's good. I'm just <laughs> playing. Coins I, I, I don't like things I don't like. He's I'm, like, bro, I got I'm, a team that uh, <laughs> like I got a hundred monkeys no, typing hundred words no, I, a minute. I do like them. When I like a lot of times I'll see a lot of your posts where like you know the algorithm hits in. 
playing because you got some good stuff. I'm just playing. Of course, of course, I like them. No, but I mean, good people in Los Angeles putting out good content. Who are some? The Fleckus, you, yeah, myself. Um, yeah. Who are, are there any other names out here? I like, like Will Witt. Lions of Liberty is good. Pr- Prager, you Will Witt. Okay. Uh, the Deep State Mapping Project. I just met the guy today, but he's pretty cool, and he's That's got right. he's got a whole map. Uh, it's pretty tight. Um, Roseanne, someone I tw- I, re- I retweeted because I uh, I thought it was funny. Someone was like, "Thanks for supporting her," and I was like, "Support your local Matrix Breaker." <laughs> so you know, if you're in Austin, Texas, you got to support Alex Jones. You don't have to, but it's like it's like your farmer's market. Like, just go pick up a few super blue toothpastes. You know, <laughs> like just support your local Matrix Breaker. They're having trouble now. It's not it's not easy to be weird. Just go to the farmer's market and pick up some tangy tangerine. Make yeah. sure make sure that your male vitality is they, on point. They had a delivery lady here, and she was like, oh, um, we like we delivered to your door organic. I was like, that's great. She was like, but we only come at night. <laughs> and I was like, well, I was like, I don't know if that's going to work. And she's like, do you have a place we can just drop it off? I was like, no, I meet people at the door. So she's like, oh, it's not going to work. I'm like, why do you only deliver at night? Like, now you're, No. And then it was like we have You've to had drop some interesting it off. encounters today. But we only deliver at night. Some strange characters here. And Wait, that's was like, that the Farm Fresh? And to you I might people? be the strangest. With, with the box of the produce. Yeah, Farm Fresh to you. Yeah, Farm Fresh at Cafe Farms. They're it, awesome. No, I bet they are. I but they only deliver at night. To me, they said at least. Yeah, weirdo. Maybe it's like only maybe, maybe people night. are just lying to me because it's like you know they don't want me to really buy. They're like, we only deliver at night. I'm like, cool. I'm interested. And they're like, no, 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 no. Like when you're not around. I'm like, no, I'm always, I got family. And they're like, no, 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 like we have like poison <laughs> in the oranges. I was like, yeah, I'm not interested. They're like, all right, carry on. Like, no, 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 no. We're watching for the <laughs> moment you leave your home, which is when we swoop in, just yeah. so we're clear before you sign up. Anomaly, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, Brian, pleasure. We're going we're gonna to go, uh, go check out the rest of this convention. I'm going to leave on by, before I get assaulted by another... Uh, yeah, Woman. right. You're, you're gonna get sucked into the lounge, and you're gonna end up in nine conversations like we always do. See what happens. Thanks, Fry. To be continued. Your guide to the truth. The new American